Hey guys. Hey guys. What is that? Texans don't say that. I guess they do. So I have to tell you something. Nothing to do with motorcycles because I can't ride my motorcycle yet. I just left and don't be looking at my cat Christopher Walken hairstyle here. I don't know what happens when I'm getting a massage, but yeah, I looked in the mirror. It's like, dang, I'm looking like Christopher Walken there. I need my, like a fat boy slim video. That'd be cool, right? It'd be so cool to meet Christopher Walken. Damn cars. Okay, we're just gonna go. But I had to tell you something that happened. If I can get this to work. It's coming. This is just like a. I was coming out of my massage therapist today. And I decided to, to, to park several blocks away, you know, get the steps in and everything. And I was leaving. It was so nice to come out. It's 101 degrees right now. There's no humidity or the humidity is very low. So it was really, really nice coming out of her, her clinic and it being just a nice dry heat. And I'm, I'm fine, you know, I, 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 I walk into my car. It's a nice walk and there was this hedge of holly bushes. And I get to this house and I notice there was a sign in front of it that the, it was like certified for backyard, I don't know, some weird Portland thing, I guess. I'm I'm not really sure. Oh, I hear a Harley. So I'm walking by and I'm looking at the house, trying to see the backyard, and I notice this squirrel. So this squirrel's like running, running, running. And then he meets me right when I get at the tree and he's looking at me and I'm thinking, oh, holy crap. He is gonna jump on me. And he didn't. You know what that little sucker did? He followed me. I mean, th these holly bushes went for like a block. He was in there the whole time. I'm thinking Christmas vacation. You know where the squirrel jumped out of the Christmas tree? Yeah, that's what I was thinking that I was gonna be attacked by a rabid, crazy Portland squirrel. Nobody would find me, and I would be like food for the squirrels and hawks and whatever they, else they have around here. This is a new holder I have because somehow the other one, man, this tried me on my mind, fell out of the car. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But dang guys, what's going on? Drop it in the comments. Tell me, oh, that's so cute. Not that you could see that. Let me know what's going on with you guys. I have been so flipping bored. I've been out of the house a few times to try and get steps in and walk when my heart's cooperating. I've gotten an appointment with the vein specialist on the computer. Like, tell me how he's gonna figure out anything with my veins on the computer. <laughs> I'm not happy. I have that's even valuable. My gosh, I can't get over this Christopher Walken look inside of my hair. Dang. That's what I've been doing lately before I go to bed. I've been watching Christopher Walken videos. You know, his interviews, best of clips. I think he's like my new, new, new favorite actor. This is flipping pissing me off. Damn gooseneck holder. Red light. there. Maybe that'll work. Maybe it won't. Who knows? This is Portland. Anything can happen. Went to a casino yesterday to get out of the house, get some walking in. Didn't do so great. Money-wise. You know, one reason I like YouTube is besides this stupid holder, I don't feel so isolated. Since I can't wear a mask, I feel like I've been in solitary confinement. Then they lifted restrictions and a week later put them back in place. So... Yeah, I don't, I'm not so cool with that. All right, getting ready to turn on the 84. I wish you could see the sides. I need to put my GoPros. You guys have seen enough Portland garbage though, but this is just so sad. It's falling again, what the heck? I wonder how long before it falls again. See, I'm at a stoplight, so this would be the perfect time to have something to say. But like, I don't know what to say right now. 
sip. This is really bothering me. I'm loving my car. I can tell you that. Every time I get in it, like, man, I love this car. I'm so glad we decided to do this. Ooh. You know what I'm gonna do though? I'm gonna stop by and get a cupcake on the way home. Don't tell anyone. Traffic's not too bad, but I'm wondering if anybody's gonna let me in. It doesn't look like it. Oh, this guy's gonna be nice. Thank you. Portland traffic is the worst I've ever driven in, besides Dallas. They have nothing, I mean, LA has nothing on Portland or Dallas. I'm still thinking. I was gonna go to Street Vibes this year, and my friend just told me yesterday they canceled it, which sucks. And it's probably a good thing with things going on, and we can't figure out what's going on with my veins and lungs and heart and everything. It's probably a good thing that I don't ride that far. You have to go through the National Forest, Lassen uh, National Forest. It's beautiful, look it up, it's gorgeous. But there's no cell service in a lot of it, so I don't think it'd be a good idea for me to ride through it at all. I love my massage therapist. I go in there today and I take my glasses off and she said, what is wrong with you? I'm like, what do you mean? She said, you don't look so good. Actually, she said, you look really, really tired. And I don't know. I'm not gonna take my glasses off though. I tell you, I'm going out of my mind being in my house. Totally. I feel like I'm completely, 100% insane. And I know some of you are gonna say, hey, Terry, <laughs> we already knew you were insane. Now, this is a completely different type of insanity. Yeah, this is filled with basically nothingness right now. I just need to talk to people. Okay, gasoline, let's see. How much is it where you are? Drop it in the comments, let me know. Diesel is $3.69, and this is at a Shell station. And gasoline is $4.25. <laughs> Have you guys noticed people have been extra, like, just rude lately? <sighs> and me being as social as I am, I don't like that. A little medical update, if you're interested in hanging around, oh, please subscribe. Just make me feel better because I am so totally dopamine deprived. Medical update, heart still going crazy, feet still swollen like the marshmallow Stay Puff Man's feet, you know, from Ghostbusters. My resting heart rate's like 120. I am having an easier time breathing most of the time, not all the time, but most of the time. I have taken up drawing, sketching, whatever, with Prismacolor and using turpentine dip brushes to blend it and it's like kind of a water, water color effect. Uh, yeah, I'm amazed with my artistic talent or lack thereof. At least the people I was sketching. Other people could tell who they were. Big part. The hardest part is doing the teeth. I thought it would be... Well, I, I, I put sunglasses on them, so there were no eyes. But the teeth, dang! Those suckers took me by surprise! Are you guys writing? Let me know. Put it down in the comments. I have not really been able to watch many videos. I haven't interacted really at all with anyone. And I really was drawn from a lot of people, you know, on social media, on YouTube, from my friends, everything. I just kind of pulled back. And I have to do that every once in a while. Kind of detox, I guess, to protect myself in a way. I really, really don't like putting things out there where I'm complaining and whining about my life. Yeah, pretty much is non-existent right now, but you know, why complain and whine about it? There's enough of that in, in the world. I don't need to be complaining and whining. I actually have a pretty nice existence compared to a lot of people. Now that, you can't see it, would make an excellent photograph. I did do that. I got out, and we have a bridge here. It's called the Tillicum Crossing. I got out on the bridge. Shouldn't have done it. Didn't know how long it was. Well, I knew it was, I didn't know how wide the river was, okay? Lived here for 30 years. I didn't measure the freaking river. But it's a pedestrian, bicycle, and transit bridge. No cars, no motorcycles, nothing like that. So I decided I was gonna park on the east side and walk across to downtown Portland 
to the south waterfront where things are kind of nice and, and not so scary. And it was a really nice day and I stopped at this awesome restaurant and had fresh oysters, raw of course. Oh my gosh, they're so good, but they're so expensive. What else I have? Jumbo shrimp cocktail. And this place makes the best creme brulee I have ever had in my life. So I was walking around, I was trying to get, you know, street photography, practice some of my street photography stuff. And I was doing okay. I mean, I was breathing okay. I could stop when I needed to until I started back. That about killed me. Get to the Tillicum, Tillicum Bridge and I'm looking at it. I'm thinking, oh, H-E double hockey sticks, is that what we used to say in school or something? This was not a good idea. Sure enough, when I got home, I just wore a pair of sandals because I knew my feet were gonna swell up for some unknown reason. But at least I got in my 10,000 steps. I'm totally coming the wrong way because there is, I put this in pictures and I put it in several videos, there is a transformer unit up here that has a picture of a raven painted on it. And every time I go by it, it reminds me of my friend Raven that lives in Georgia. He's 20 years old, he's an author, and he's just one of the most awesome human beings I've had the pleasure of getting to know. And I always think I, it's right there, but it's not. I've got to go down further because we're going for cupcakes! Not that I need them. Now, on the right was a psychiatrist that misdiagnosed me and put me on horrible drugs that did horrible things to me. I know you can't see, but you know, I'm just gonna play twerk out here. On the left is my incredible chiropractor. I love him. On the right used to be a bar, tavern, restaurant named Fenders that I promoted and loved. I had all of my cast meetings there. We had, it was wonderful. And they went out of business and that kind of sucks because their food was amazing. Absolutely amazing. There's the Vintage Fox on the right. On here is the Delta Cafe and Bar, which has some really cool wall art. And you guys are all like, what the heck? You're not showing us any pictures. No, I'm not. Because I'm in the car and I can't really take a picture right now. If you're still here during this part of the video, please like it. Let me know that you're still here. And I cannot wait to get up here and get this cupcake. They are delish. I am going to get the unicorn cupcake because it's pretty. Maybe I'll get two. I haven't had them in a while. Maybe I'll get two. We're here at Fat Cupcake. I'm gonna run in and get one or two or three and be right back. Oh. I'm back. Here's my unicorn cupcake. I forget what they call this one, but I call it my Tiffany cupcake. If you're in the Portland area, this store is on 72nd in Woodstock. You will not regret it. So since I'm gonna be like stuffing my mouth with these or this one, I'll talk to you guys soon. And if you stuck around, like I said, thank you so much. I love you. Make me feel, makes my day. And again, my Christopher Walken here. Talk to you soon. Bye.